Okay, so let's move on and look at another piece of modern evidence that supports continental drift. And this is talking about hot spots. So we haven't talked about what hot spots are, but hot spots are areas of intense heat that are thought to generate from very near, if not at, the core of the Earth. And those areas of intense heat are stationary and they're long lasting. So as the continental plates slowly drift over the hot spots, the hot spots don't move. And lucky for us, the hot spots actually provide some recorded history of their activity as the plate is drifting over the top of them. You might have guessed that since these are called hot spots, that they are uh, generating enough heat to melt rock and to decrease density. So we actually have molten lava that's working its way up through the mantle, up to the surface of the earth, and is exposed as a volcano. Um, what happens then is we get a string of volcanic islands or um, volcanoes, extinct volcanoes on land, that are the result of this hot spot. Uh, can you think of a good example of a chain of volcanic islands that might be the result of this type of activity?